So coming towards the end of June, I thought I'd do a quick tour of the garden. We'll start here. So these lettuces still doing well, but they won't last very long. So I've got new lettuces started on the allotment. This is the bed where I had the failed parsnip germination. One of two beds. Uh, the replacement packet of seeds was perfect. Every single one germinated. What a difference. So down there, in between those onions, there are little parsnip seedlings. Carrots, little snacking carrots for the kids and grandkids and me. So uh, yeah, looking forward to those being ready. Loads of carrots, of course, on the allotment. I have just direct seeded some kale in there. I just don't feel like doing any gardening at this time of year. So uh, direct seeding was all I could muster the enthusiasm for. Got some cherries on here, quite a lot. So I've netted those. Doesn't stop the birds standing on the nets and still eating them, of course. I suppose I should do a better job of netting. More uh, onions with parsnips in between them there. And a few turnips. Actually looking quite nice, those turnips. More lettuces. Had one row of lettuces just mildew. It was the same green one as this one. I don't know what went wrong with it anyway. I've taken it out. It was there. And here we've got what looks like really gorgeous chard. But uh, we've had a lot of leaf miner damage on it. I can still see a little bit just there. Um, anyway, I've been taking it off. Still looks pretty lush. Grapevine's doing okay. Gave that a bit of a haircut. So I think that's pretty much everything here for winter. And so we hope to keep every bed full all year round. So let's have a look down here. So this is what the parsnips are meant to look like. Those are parsnips interplanted with salad onions. You can see what's left of the salad onions just there. So it did look like that for the whole of the bed. And the parsnips seem no worse for wear. So pretty pleased with those. Those are, yeah, my second batch of parsnips. I've got one that's a lot further on than that on the allotment, but uh, those are the ones for September. These are the ones for winter. And here I did have my garlic. Uh, and that was interplanted with those lettuces. I've just taken the garlic out a couple of days ago and that is drying now. And we've got salad onions interplanted with lettuces. Looking quite nice actually. And here we've got, well, we did have radishes uh, and in those were interplanted with um, turnips, but the turnips, a couple of them have gone to seed, but most of them are still looking okay. So I'm hoping to get a decent crop off those. They're coming on nicely. This was the last of the spring cabbages. It's now replanted with lettuce. I'm not going to interplant this one. And there's what's well those are the salad onions that we're going to be eating for the next month looking pretty gorgeous so let's have a quick look at the patio i've got a few blackberries here and then all the way down here there will be let's see if we can get out of the shadow tomatoes and i do them or well, this year i've done them in succession so the furthest on, the ones we're harvesting now, are on the allotment. And then we've got the next batch around here. And another batch here. And then we will have another batch around here. We've got carrots in tubs here. And these are the last few tubs here. So these are the last two weeks of harvest. And then we're on to ones grown in the ground. I so much prefer one's grown in the ground so I'll be really pleased to get rid of these and we've just got the last little potato plant 
here, that's the last of our earlies. Just got a few little courgettes here, just in case there'd be really fancy as a courgette and we haven't got one from the allotment. But other than that, that is pretty much it for the veggie part of the back garden. Almost, I keep forgetting the bed at the back, but anyway, let's have a look. So this is the fruit area. So we've got strawberries, that we transplanted here and we'll straw these new ones that we bought here the new ones well they're still struggling on but uh, hopefully by next year they'll be looking a little bit stronger blueberries along here and a few gooseberries not many survived the saw fly this year but fortunately the ones in the front garden were fine and the ones on the allotment are fine and then raspberries all the way along the back wall. Now this is new. This is my new brassica bed down here. We've got red cabbages, calabrese and cauliflowers. And I hope this works out because it gives us a bit of extra space we normally don't have very much space for cabbages and cauliflowers but we decided to move the strawberries into the far corner and grow here and there is a little bit of cabbage aphid on a few bits and pieces but in the main it's looking pretty good so along this little path down here we've got climbing french beans direct sown in there still not up yet because we've got loads of French beans on the allotment and runner beans here kind of patchy germination although actually I think germination was probably quite good I think I just got at by snails so I might have to do some uh, in modules but again plenty of time because we've got loads and loads of beans and then peas just starting to come here now and uh, just as the ones on the allotment are finishing, which is the first time I've timed it right. Normally I get my, all my peas at the same time, almost no matter when I sow them. So uh, these are, well, these were meant to be sugar snaps, but they're definitely not sugar snaps, which is actually fine because these definitely are sugar snaps. So I've no idea really. I mean, I know what packet I sowed them from, but that's not, that's not what I got. Weird. And then here we've got our rubbish bins, which I'm sure you're really thrilled to see. But actually that, I'm bringing you down here because this is potato alley, as we call it now. And we've got new potatoes kind of down this side. Although the varieties we've chosen are Charlotte and Nicola. And if you leave them long enough, they're perfectly acceptable early main crop potatoes. We don't really need new potatoes because we've got loads of those on the allotment. And then down this side we've got main crop potatoes. And then we've got some trees. Apple. 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 Cherry. 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 Pear. And cherry. And that brings us to the front garden. So here we've got New Zealand spinach, which is nearly ready. In two weeks time, that will have covered that bed. It's a bit of a creeper, goes a bit wild, but that's what you want from the spinach. Uh, it doesn't bolt and it loves it in the sun. So uh, provided you water it enough, it's a fantastic crop. And we've got a bit of that on the allotment as well. And here's the main garden. So we've got apple, apple, looking pretty good. And then this is the spinach we're eating right now. And it's just starting to go to seed, as you can see. But it is an Asian spinach and it, uh, it's still harvestable for a week or so after it starts to go to seed. So I'm hoping to get two weeks Two more picks off this before I take it out. Then we've got 
um, green curly kale and various different Tuscan kales, gooseberry, celeriac, green garlic, uh, celery I think, a bit more kale, more kale, the red types down there, uh, Romanesco cauliflower there, and all the way around this sort of centre planter we've got red cabbages and just a few gooseberry bushes and another amazing gooseberry bush so that is pretty much it my name's steve this is the seaside kitchen and garden and allotment channel and i'll see you soon